so that's one way out. I think that's the only way out. That does appear to be the only way out. Okay. Alright, well let's let's head out then. I think we're done exploring. check something. So rifles and high tech are my focuses with melee sharp as kind of a backup, melee backup. What am I, what am I supposed to be doing right now? Quest, mind, body, mind, Flesh crack and find friends. Contaminate. Find someone who can examine your contamination. Location question mark. Hmm. I wonder if I can just wander around the world map. Yeah, you can just waddle, wander around the world map. Oh. That looks like a city, a town, maybe. Okay. This is a friendly place. This person's coming up to talk to me, I'm assuming. Or not. I like this place. Almost feels like home now. I admit I was angry when they threw me out. Unstable mind. Fucking pussies. But it's all good now. Just miss the cyber womb sometimes. What's your crime? Crime? For getting thrown out. What did you do? Nothing. It was due to medical reasons. Yeah. Nothing. Eh, why exactly? Infectious reasons. Oh, no, I'm not gonna say that, because I don't know if it's infectious or not. Do I? I don't remember if I read that or not. I don't know. Alright, you don't have to tell me. Take care. Oh, okay. They're understanding. Am I infectious? Is that... Mind, quest items... Where's my knowledge? I keep losing track of where. See, I don't think that was my note, but that's a note I found. It wasn't on me. Hmm. Oh, you can just dismantle your weapons and stuff for salvage as well. That's good to know. Skills, knowledge. Hmm. Find someone who can examine your contamination. Yeah, alright. So I've been contaminated. That doesn't necessarily mean that I am contagious, though. It means I've been infected. Doesn't mean I'm necessarily an infection vector. It's weird playing a game like this, you know, in the year 2021. Oh, that's a cool effect. I like that. 
I like how the, the roof just like not uniformly becomes invisible. So you can look around. This guy looks like he might be a doctor. Hello, do you need anything? I don't feel so well. Can you examine me? Sure. What are your symptoms? Sickness? Having to vomit occasionally? That's not unusual around here. The machine said that I am contaminated. You're from one of the inhab You're from one of the habitats? Yes. Okay, let me take a quick look. Hmm. Your organs show slight irritability. But that's expected if you're freshly exposed to the environment around here. The meat and all. Can't see anything else on the scanner that would be a cause for your sickness. Sorry, but seems I can't help you there. Maybe. Yes? It's a long shot, but Mortis is researching the flesh and how it affects us humans. He showed up a while ago and set up his base here in the underground beneath us. Maybe he could take a look at you. Okay, thanks for the info. Alright, what else? Browse services? Okay, so just healing. Oh, no. Re recipe, nano health. That is more money than I have. I have 27 gold. Oh, and this is... Yeah, this is selling. Should I sell some stuff? Might as well sell my plastic trash. That's five. This is one. Tw meat. Meat. It's two different types of meat. Trash, crafting resource. Notes, crafting resource. I probably don't want to sell any of my crafting resources, unless I know for sure I don't need them. Abolition. Abolition. Imagine some super rich person was bored back there in the universe, was on the lookout for hot new stuff, and then got news of this place. Imagine then if you can shape the world however you like, if you can adjust everything to your own preference, and if you, and if you then live for decades in this heaven-like scenario, doesn't it become your own personal hell nobody can rescue you from? Isn't abolition then your lack of motivation to do anything, your doom, your end to be? If you don't have any goals to reach anymore, every day becomes the same. If you're safe and well-fed, that's good to have for a few years, for a few decades even, but what then? If medical advancement brings you, brings the lifetime of humans to centuries, oh, sorry. If medical advancements brings the lifetime of humans to centuries, what does that life feel like? I would argue everything's becoming a bore at some point, and a highly active mind, constantly consuming and building, will run out of stuff to consume and build. Okay. Memorize. A lot of this is like, um, it's that mother horse eyes thing from, from Reddit. There's an awesome video by, oh, what's his name? He does, he, um, there's a, a YouTuber who does a series called Down the Rabbit Hole. So if you do, do a search for Down the Rabbit Hole mother horse eyes, you'll find an interesting video about, like, this kind of like, um, sort of narrative fiction that's also kind of like an alternate reality game. And it was, it was interesting. And maybe it's not right to call it an alternate reality game, but it's like, has elements that are similar to ARGs. Because it kind of developed a community. And it's like freaky shit like this. Or it's like this gross stuff that is somewhat of a commentary on, you know, reliance on the internet and like weird sort of brain stuff going on. I haven't thought about that in a while, but it was pretty interesting. I bet there's some similar influences going on here. 
So hex and fingers are pretty useful. Let's memorize location. There's more trash. There's another house. Oh, stranger. I don't remember if it ever rained here. I wish I were still in Cyberwomb. Everything's bland out here. I never get tired of eating meat. That must be the way to get to... What was his name? Morton? High tech. Skill missing, one out of two. Oh, interesting. So this is some sort of fixture. High tech impossible. Will this attack me like the other ones? Yeah, it will. So there must be a weapon store nearby. That seems like the sort of thing you'd be testing your weapons on. Mechanics. Humanity and self determinism. Booze. Interesting finding those two things next to each other. Humanity and self determinism. We installed Redacted as helpers because people can't govern themselves. I mean, they can, in a way, but it's always going to be messy because people have different opinions, and there's always a subset of people that won't care for the feelings and opinions of others. And then you have your criminals, driven by lust or curiosity, or they just became like that through circumstances while growing up. How do you ensure everyone's security? How do you care for everyone, especially with these unstable conditions on the outside? How could you not take more command of the situation? Not sure if I want to memorize this or not. I'll hang on to it for now, though. Ooh, block. Active ability. Blocks damage if used at the correct moment. Does that replace my old rifle? Why does it say equipped old rifle? Not enough gold. Well, it doesn't matter. Am I going to need to sell some stuff? I might. If I try to sell this, it doesn't have a number beside it. Small pistol can't be sold either. Okay. Like, I'm a... You know what? Let's save. Right save game. Let's see what happens when we try to sell something with without a currency amount. Okay. Oh, 14. So if we sell that, that's 4. Sell that. Sell all six. That's twelve. I'm being a dummy. Because that's not the amount of currency. That is how many things you have. So that's not that doesn't mean you get four gold from this. That means you get you have four of these to sell. And it would give you sixteen gold. According to that. Okay, good to know. I'm gonna I'm gonna load. So, I may as well sell. I'll sell the cheap health. That is two health. Sell all six. Oh no, that's the same organs. They were just... They, they have a stack limit, I'm assuming. How much for block? 46? We'll come back to that. We'll probably earn some more money shortly. Machine Merchant. Heavy Grip. Applies extra damage to any blunt melee weapons. Blade Master. Applies extra damage to any sharp melee weapons. Combat Vest. That's 139. I'm still miles away from getting that. I do want a recipe for rifle bullets, though. That sounds like it would be useful. Cleaver. Okay. There we go. 
This is what I was hoping for here. So that's going to be absolutely necessary. Sawed off shotgun. Does that count as ranged projectiles? Interesting. Okay, well, either way, we're getting the cleaver. We're selling the cudgel. Cudgel. We are... Should we just sell the bullets and the pistol as well? So I feel like it's better than the weapon I have, but I also don't want to rely on it, because it's not going to be as good as getting a better rifle. And I'd probably get more out of the gold from selling it. So all eight gives me plus six. Uh... Hmm. Why is selling five of this plus four gold? Selling eight of it is six gold. I wonder how the math works on that. There must be like some rounding down or rounding up or something like that happening there. Household wares can be sold at merchants, yeah. Fourteen plus six. Yeah, we'll sell the adventuring. Now, if I sell this, that gives me an 38 gold altogether. That's still not enough for the... Yeah, the combat vest is way too high. Clip. What is this? Blueprints? It's a hammer, I guess. Hmm. What have you got to say for yourself? In need of my services? What is this machine next to you? It's a machine merchant. Fine thing, right? The collectors installed it. The collectors? <laughs> that weird squelch noise. Bunch of traders looking for rare scrap, but interested in all kinds of goods, I guess. Really. Never heard of them? Where are you from? I'm going to say, just be straight up. Expelled from society. Well, aren't we all? Some of us haven't have been here for a while, though. How long? Decades. The place itself has been for way longer. Anyways, something else you wanted? Are you selling any special equipment? Well, I'm selling some implants and bits. You can take a look at them in my shop. Anything else? Show me your services. Alright, I can give you another face, or retrain your brain patterns. Oh wow, okay, reset stats, reset visuals, okay. Good, okay, so you can, you can respec with him. Memorize location, stranger. The flesh provides. I wish I were still in the cyber room. Everything's bland out here. Isn't it nice how the sun is always shining? Take care. Look out for yourself. The flesh provides. Oh, here's this naked man again. Is that the same one, I wonder? Oh, nice. A fellow traveler. People over here are a bit weird, though. I was looking for some food, but they only serve raw meat. Blah. Back to eating plants and dirt, I guess. Ah, well. See ya. The vendor. Focus energy restored. Oh, nice. Oh. Does that mean I have my shock back? Okay, so that replenished my shock. Good to know. Okay, that's that's pretty metal. Tasty meat. Fresh meat to sell. 
that's another stranger. Okay. Well, it is now... I've been at this for a little while. I'm going to take a short break. I'll be back in about five minutes. Yeah, it's 2.30 now. And I'm enjoying this so far. And I haven't really gotten that far into it, but I like what I see so far. It's kind of gross and disgusting, but in that good sort of way. It's like... Yeah, it's... it's 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 definitely like war punk. This is kind of what I was expecting, and I am not disappointed. So, but I'll leave it there for just five minutes, and I will be back shortly. Cheers.
This is Widem for the, from the future. You're probably wondering what I'm doing here. Well, at this point in the video, you might have heard a little kukunk. That's the sound of me muting, or rather, unmuting my mic, and then muting it again by accidentally pressing the button the wrong way. See, with this particular mic, it's a Blue Yeti mic. It's one of the older versions. Um, it has an issue with the button, and I don't know if if it's like a issue with the spring or what it is, but the mute button is very finicky. I have a habit of pressing it once and it actually gets double pressed. So that's where we're at. And at this point in the video, I'll be still be recording for about 30 minutes or so, but I'm just animatedly talking to myself and you can't hear it. You will still be able to hear the game audio. So I'm here to do commentary on that. So here we go. And maybe I'll make myself a little bit smaller here. And I will just kind of put myself here so you recognize, just to remind yourself of the fact that I'm doing commentary over a video that I already did. And I don't actually remember what I was saying here. I was probably saying something about coming back from my break. And this is me kind of moving back and forth, reminding myself to put away my weapon and not attacking, not attacking random townsfolk. There's Agira. I sneezed there. And hi, what's your name? Girgos. Nice to meet you, Girgos. I'm Custer. Want to do a job for the collectors? It's well paid. Let's say I do. Well, I'm in a bit of a hard spot right now. My contact at the collectors told me that they're looking for a functioning machine core. And I know that there's a bunker in the north at the edge of the mountains. I reckon it's still fully equipped. I was on my way, but I got bitten by one of those fucking worms. Still recovering from that. What? That machine core worth much? Yes, it's the collectors. They always pay well, if the stuff is quality. How about you go get it, and then come back and lead us to the buyer? Okay, I guess. Cool. Bunker 17 is to the northeast of here, at the foot of the mountains. I'm sure you'll find it. Good luck, your ghosts. What are you doing, Rainer? What are you doing? We've got Rainer here. He wants some attention. Come on. Anyway, here's me looking at this crazy, weird statue. Shebzu the Seducer. I don't think it's a good idea to grab those items that are sitting at the bottom. And there's this person talking about meat. Fresh meat for everyone. Hey, you're new here, yeah, right? Here's your meat. We take care of everyone. If you want more, though, you have to pay. What's with all the meat everywhere, anyway? Is it easy to... Is it safe to eat? Raw like that? What is with... Yeah. This is the first time someone's... I, I've gotten the chance to ask. What is with all the meat everywhere? It's just, it's just there. It grows. Oh, and takes crafts, craftsmanship to pick the best pieces, of course. Yeah, but where does it come from? Honestly, I don't know. As far as I remember, it has always been growing around everywhere. Right from the ground. Maybe we're living on a planet made of flesh, and right now we're standing on a crust of stone and dirt. So, do you want a piece of meat now? Is it safe to eat raw like that? Yeah, everyone around here does. And, just taking a look. It's just normal meat. Same, same kind of meat I've been picking up with brains as resources to, to buy as well. And it's probably not a great idea to sell the experience. You don't even get the option, actually. Do I have anything that I want to sell? Not really, no. 
So, I'm just gonna walk around. Never get tired of eating meat. Of course. I kind of like this black and white filter. I might do it more often. It looks pretty good. Yeah. You can just attack that pile of meat for some reason. I think a little while after this, I tried on some other piles of meat. That doesn't work. And Blade Master. We have 26 gold. We need 37 to get the Blade Master. And I don't realize it at the time, but I'm thinking that Blade Master is some sort of implant or something that you install on yourself. But after I decide to sell this ball pistol and the bullets, like I had been talking about doing previously, I put it on my blade and, oh, it goes, or I buy it and then I have to apply it to the cleaver. Which is fine. Now, I wouldn't mind it if you just get an implant that just straight up boosts one of your skills. And it's like, that's what it seems like Blade Master does. It just boosts your skill. But, we'll carry on. Or actually, no, it, it doesn't boost your skill. It, it boosts your damage. I need to take a closer look at that next time I'm on. Just to see. Yeah, damage 13, 12 plus 1. I'm not sure if the plus one is from Blade Master or from my having a better skill. Because it also has the Blade Master trait applied to it. And that trait might be the thing that improves your skill. Or it gives your skill a temporary buff whenever you're using that weapon. It doesn't appear to be there right now. Melee Sharp is still at one, one pip. After a little while, I'm going to get a level up, and then I'm going to add some more. And now that I'm reviewing this video, it makes me think maybe I should shrink down my camera size. Because it does cover up some of the, the screen real estate. Especially for a game like this, where a lot of the dialogue is in the upper part of the video. Shubzu the Seducer. Man, I, I love that effect where the ceiling just kind of goes away whenever you enter the house. Hey, close the door here. It's pretty cool that they want you to close the door. So what do you want? Just looking around. Getting to know people? Something like that, I guess. Well, I'm Marla. I'm old, so just I just stay here most of the time. I'm friends with everyone, though. Everyone? Yeah. Agura's best, though. She takes care of me. Even brought me cheese that one day. Only time I had some, apart from the cyber room. Anything else? I met this Kraken, and it needs a friend. A friend for the Kraken, you say? Wait, are you talking about one of the Titans here? I guess. It seemed a bit lonely. Oh, really? I suppose they could have feelings like that. Did you ever meet the Kraken? No. You think I would leave, ever leave Taurus again? I'm not as mad as you, traveling through the world. So where would I get a friend for the Kraken? I don't know, really. Oh, wait. Maybe Mortis can help you. Yes, he's a good one. Knows all kinds of things about... All kinds of stuff about flesh. He's living underground in the old facilities. You can get there through one of the other houses. Okay, thanks. Anything else? Nothing, really. Then please leave me be. Looking around. It's a bed. It's my bed. Though I could share it with you. Nah, I'm okay. <laughs> Crazy old lady. <laughs> anyway. So. This is the second person that's referenced Mortis. Which kind of makes, leads you to believe that, yeah, maybe Mortis is kind of an important character that you need to talk to. And I did notice the one house here with the trapdoor. There is another house here that, I'll, that also has a trapdoor. I don't believe I've located it yet. Move along. Please maintain peaceful behavior. Looking around, there's...
there's a stranger. There's a door to lockpick. But this is here. You notice how just standing at the window is enough to be able to let you look inside the house. Which is nice. It's good to know too. And I'm just kind of like moseying through the map. I want to try to cover up as much, cover as much of the map as I can. Make sure I'm not missing anything that could be important. Let's see, and there's these piles of meat, the meat slug type things crawling around. There's still like, despite this being a town, there's still lots of wildlife here. And I think the game kind of wants you to treat the meat slugs as wildlife. I'm checking out another house here. There's just a, a random stranger inside. I don't remember if it rained here. I wish I was still in the cyber room. I don't trust the machines. Saying dialogue bits that we heard other stranger NPCs say. I've been noticing those little firefly type yellow pixels rising up from the ground. I also notice this part here, this little section. It looks like a path that leads out of this area, but it doesn't seem to do anything, so I'm kind of wondering if it turns into a path later on. But regardless. And here is where you meet Fleshface. And I'm like, I'm kind of confused about what I'm looking like, looking at, because it doesn't quite look like a normal person. It looks like a cyborg. It doesn't have any energy. This funnel here looks like it, you can enter some organic lubricant. But I don't have any. Or do I? It's kind of gross. Like, puke that serves that, that particular purpose twice. And I'll apply organic lubricant, which is the puke. Booting. Initializing. What do you want, human? Who are you? I was one of your masters, here to protect you. To shield you from the dangers of this world. That was my other life, my previous life. I left the masters to become one of you. Dogs are going crazy. I don't know. I have no memory of me getting deactivated. Are you the one who activated me again? Yes. You saved my life. Thank you. What now? I would like to continue exploring. It's not great when... I mean... You can't see the dialogue because of my picture there. It makes it harder for me to figure out what's going on. What the, I'm self-sufficient that way, like that. I won't be a burden to you. I just want to explore and make new friends. See more people. Take head. Alright, let's do this. Nice. And we've obtained Flesh Face. The robot head. He apparently has flesh on his face. Not sure how to feel about that. But... What do you want to talk about, fellow human? Who are you exactly? I'm a multi-purpose cyborg created as a worker and protector to the machine masters and therefore also to the humans, of course. I gave myself the flesh face to be more alike humans. Therefore, I am flesh face. Anything else? You said that you left the Machine Masters. Why? I want to mingle among the humans. Become more like them. Why? I'm alone. I'm different than the other machines. And I don't want to become the machines again. So I have to become something else. I want to become similar to the humans. Anything else? I would like to talk about our plans. I would like to meet new people. 
Actually, I have someone big and meaty in need of a friend. Sounds intriguing. Maybe we should meet this someone. Alright, and that is where we get the Kraken update. Kraken and friend. Alright. So, we're carrying on. Found some med ingredients. I don't actually know what I could use med ingredients for yet. But regardless. I'll be carrying on. There's this ominous pond here. I don't know why every pond in this game seems a little bit ominous. Because you never really know. I, I just feel like there's so many of them. And... They always tend to be larger than you are. So you never really know what's in them. Oh, in this house. We haven't checked this out yet. We were about to check it out when we saw the cyborg. Okay, there's a random bed. And there's a trapdoor. So there is another entrance to the underground. The underground base here. Where, um... Where our friend is. Mortis. Check this out. Grab some trash. Can't have enough of those. Don't really know why I have to close the door there. I just feel like maybe it's useful. Since I've already had someone yell at me for not closing the door. Please maintain peaceful behavior. And we're back up at the market. There's this drone thing again. Oh yeah, Machete does some decent damage. It's pretty good. Now that I have Blade Master equipped, I'll actually be able to deal some decent damage for an early game build. don't actually remember what I'm talking about here. You're gonna get that a bit though. That's that's kind of how this goes. It's kind of weird doing commentary over this. Because when I start playing, I'm just kind of in the moment. I don't really kind of do a, like, a, like um, a stream of consciousness thing. You just talk about whatever. So it's a little different when you're, like, doing commentary over gameplay you've already done. Hi, you. Nova's bugging me because it's almost their supper time. Not quite yet there. Not quite yet. Anyway. There's this facility downstairs. Looks very similar to the one that you started. Hey. Please don't harm me. You're living here? Yeah, it's cozy, and I'm not bothering anyone here. Not that it matters. Sometimes I think no one cares about anything anymore, for good or bad. I care. That's nice to hear. Everyone else has become indifferent, even the machines. I heard they were much friendlier and caring back then. And by back then, I'm assuming they mean before the bleeding. It's hard to tell. Because, like, whatever the inside society, the universal society is, I can't tell if it's something that existed before the bleeding or is something that has formed to protect humanity from the bleeding. I'm still not even really sure what the bleeding is, but I'm assuming it has something to do with all this flesh lying all over the place, seemingly growing out of the ground. And we got another location marker. And here is this guy, Mortis, a visitor. What are you doing here? Examining the flesh, the machines, finding out about our place among them. But my current studies are mostly focused on the flesh. I wonder, what's your perception of all the forms of meat around us? It's just there. There's a lot of it. It's free food. It's unusual. I'm going to go with it's unusual. That's a good observation. 
I would even say there's no discernible origin of the meat, which is the same thing we were going up before. Its origin is what I'm concerned about, and its connection to the infections and mutations. Eh, I was cast out from the habitat because I'm contaminated. Could this be related? Interesting. There are no visible signs of any illness. How do you feel? Okay, pretty normal. Most of the time. Occasionally sickness overcomes me and I have the urge to vomit. All right. Those could be the first signs of your metabolism changing. Anything else? Can you examine me? Yes, I would be willing to. This is quite interesting for me, too, you know. You would be the first case I could study that is still in a very premature state. Very exciting. Premature, so you have an idea. So you have an idea what this leads to. No. Don't know at this point. A mutation, perhaps. Eh. Is there a cure? I don't think so. But first things first. I'm not fully equipped to perform human cell scan. And I'm going to need a medical scanner and some octagon fluid. Maybe you can get a scanner from the doctor here in Taurus. Tell him it's for me, Mortis. And there's no octagon fluid here. You'll have to search one of the old facilities to the north. Last but not least, it would be helpful if you could get me some mutant brain tissue. All right, I'll take a look. Now I'm assuming the human brain or the mutant brain tissue involves you beating up a mutant. You have any idea where to get a friend for that big meat guy? Uh, what? I met this giant flesh creature. Looked like some tentacle animal. And is a bit lonely and asking for a friend. Fascinating. What kind of friend would a creature like that need? Another flesh creature? I don't know. It accepted me as a friend, though. Interesting. Is that creature dangerous? I don't know. Dot, dot, dot. Interesting. Maybe you could repurpose one of the androids for this. That creature gets a friend. We have a chance to observe, and no one gets endangered. Where would I get an android for this? There's no use asking one of the enforcers, but I saw a broken android out there in Taurus, near what the, the old house. Oh, I know which one. Thanks. Anything else? Yeah. Not, not right now. We're going to look around a little bit. And there is the Nexus. The Flesh Nexus is calling you. Try to answer. You try to reach out, but no one reacts to you. And it doesn't seem like there's anything else to do here. There's another one of those meat slugs. They don't seem to do much. This game has definitely got some stuff going on with meat. I don't remember what I'm talking about here. But all of the teleports are connected. That part is obvious. All there's left to do is explore the rest of this facility. See if there's anything I might have missed. Anything that might be valuable. That's where I came from originally. There's some more meat. Wait, is that where I originally came from? I'll have to double check. Yeah, this pile of meat won't work. I can't cut it, attack it, do whatever to it. Hmm. If I go down here, that'll take me to this other path that I neglected before. And here's the first time I notice how easy it is to abuse the stealth, because not, on, not only does it stop you from being detected by enemies, but it helps prevent, like, it helps you figure out where the enemies are. Like, you can, I just want to appreciate, in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen right now, 
you can see you can see that little spider I would not have noticed that he just blends in so well with the environment if I didn't see the vision cones I wouldn't realize that little spider was there so that is something useful you could use the stealth for this might also be the first time I noticed that you actually use stamina to walk around in stealth and that's probably the reason why I got caught using stealth the first time I tried to use it Not necessarily because I spent too long in the vision cone. I'm going to take a pot shot. But then I stop myself and decide to save because I don't know the power level of these enemies. Oh, if my shot falls short. I do a slight amount of damage with my second shot and I'm all out. Switch the machete. Ooh, take a couple of hits. Hit the web. All right. And that does decent amount of damage to me, but not a huge amount. That's what I needed. Zircon. And here's the other spider. And I'm all out of bullets, so I have to machete it up. Hmm. I'm deciding if it's worth it to try to attack the webs. I'm like taking my rifle out, but no, there's no point to doing that. Oh, and I was about to do something and I don't remember what I had in mind, but I must have gotten too close to the spider. Oh, ah, there it goes. It got me. And I'm back here because wisely I decided to save my game before engaging with this new enemy type. Ouch. Taking a hit. Ooh. They actually have quite a large hit box as well. Or hurt box, rather. For their attacks. And we're making it through. Oh, I took a hit. It's still getting a feel for the timing of the hits and the dodges. The enemy attacks seem to have, like, they seem to have different speeds, like varying speeds. So sometimes it seems like they attack slowly, but then they'll, they'll follow up with a really quick attack. And I'm not quite sure if there is a pattern to that or if it's random. I take another hit. Fortunately, I've eaten a little bit, so I'm at full health, close to full health now. I'm trying to dodge through the web. The web does not make it easy to move around. And I finish off the second spider. I collect some trash, and then I realize, yeah, this is a dead end. There's actually almost zero to be gained from this area, other than that zircon and some extra trash. I think the one spider dropped me that health injection. Which I guess is good. It's kind of a trade-off for using up that, those meat for health. Those pieces of meat for health. But, as for this entire level, there's not really much else to do here. So I guess we can just go back. Figure out what else there is to do. I think at this point I'm kind of like, what quest do we go with? Because we've got a couple of different quests. It's hard to tell which ones are the important ones, though. Is getting the flesh kraken some friends actually that important? <laughs> Trying to figure out the whole health thing, getting scanned. That's like three fetch quests right there. Even though it seems to be the main quest, so... It sounds like this is the sort of thing where it's like, it's expecting you to go pretty much all over the map. So, you know. But we'll go through. 
And so we need to get medical scanner and then also get octagon fluid. Well, that's funny because one of the things was I was supposed to get some mutant brain. Go back. Get two times brains. Oh, okay. So I have the brains. I might not have given them to Mortis yet, but I have them. I just have to keep them on me, I guess. So yeah, all the brains I've been collecting up to this point are included. So it's not the sort of thing where it's like, there's a special mutant that you have to kill to get his brain. It's just any brains that you find lying around, coming from those weird flesh sacks or flesh piles. And, but here we can level up because we're past level two. We get one point for the core skills. I believe it's two points for the skill skills, <laughs> core stats, two, two points for the skills. And I think I end up going with hardiness. Yeah. Just for basic survivability. As for this points here, we put a point into lock picking and a second point into high tech because we just happen to be next to that machine over here that requires two points of high tech. And I roll a success on that since I'm qualified for it now. Yeah, it's just trash. It almost wasn't worth it. But I mean, it is what it is. Now I know how a little bit more about how high tech is supposed to work. There are high tech weapons, but there are also high tech events that you can roll on. Mm, resisting the temptation to pick up those items and trying to fi figure out the geometry of the world. Oh, that dude just went into that house. Oh, it's the doctor. Hello, do you need anything? Do you have a spare medical scanner? What for? Mortis wants to examine me and needs better equipment for that. Hit that thing again. Here I am. Just play and play and play. And the mic is muted. I'm so fucking salty right now. The heck, the heck that. <laughs> All right. So this is future future item signing out and letting you continue with the rest of this video, which doesn't last for much longer. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> How many people are watching? I apologize to both of you. Mortis wants to examine me and needs better equipment for that. Mortis said I would give you one? Yes. Alright, I guess I could lend it to Mortis. Here. I wonder if I should just replay that last section. Ah, uh, that's okay. I think I'm ready to stop for now anyway. Save it over CV. I feel kind of foolish now. But it is what it is. I'll have to look back in the footage to see where I left off at. Then I'll probably play through again and reread whatever dialogue I missed. Maybe... Yeah, I could just do a voiceover for the existing video. Yeah, that works. Alright. So that's Death Trash. Much like my streaming career. But... If you do end up watching... And if I leave this in the video, then, you know, thank you for joining me. Hopefully you got some amusement out of that just now. And I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. I will probably be streaming some more later tonight, but I'm going to take a break for a little while. In either case, take care.